I'm Aaron Merch from 2H Media. In this video, we're going to take a look at the text content type in Shopify's online store 2.0. On the meta field definition page, we've already entered a name and description for our meta field and selected the text content type to get us started. We've named this meta field feature description one and described its contents as text to be displayed within the product story. In the text content type settings, we can choose between single line or multi-line text. Because we're intending to use this meta field to display a full paragraph of text, we've selected the multi-line option in this example. Within the validation section, we've set a minimum and maximum length for this meta field to ensure that we get more uniform content from our internal users. Because we're not looking for a specific type of text, such as an email address or phone number, we haven't entered any validation in the regular expressions field. Note that the validation settings are optional, so we could have left the minimum and maximum length fields blank if we wanted to. Since we're happy with our meta field definition, let's click Save and see how this looks in the back end of Shopify. We can see our new meta field listed at the bottom of the product page. By clicking into the field, a text box will appear. You should see the maximum character count for the meta field displayed in the bottom right hand corner of the text box. Below the text box, our description is displayed. Note that the minimum character count is not displayed on this page. If you followed along with this entire video, you should now understand some of the basic functions of the text content type, as well as some of the validation options that are available on the meta field definition screen. If you want to know how to display this meta field in the front end of Shopify, check out our video on creating a meta field in Shopify's online store 2.0.